Hey guys, this is Alex from 4C Trading and today we are gonna do another video on TRX. We recently did one on EOS and Litecoin and you know I was just thinking why not do another one on the TRX which is another giant. And yes, the last time when we had, when we did one of those, we did per se that you know it's quite possible for TRX to hit this area on like 40 Satoshi or something like that, which is still if we currently look at it, it's about 60% fallout, right? Or let's just say on the top of the area, 50% fallout, right? Well, yes, that is that area is still possible to be hit in the future. But right now, I'm do thinking because, you know, in the current stance of Bitcoin dominance and everything, Bitcoin dominance is, um, you know, currently going down and it's really good for all, essentially, right? I do think as, you know, uh, some of this EOS and Litecoin, like was previously said, that they're, some of them are going to pop out, right? They're going to make sudden moves. And right now, you know, I'm just going to go and assume and try to capture some of these reactions before, you know, those bigger levels get filled. And, you know, some of these levels can be captured quite well on the lower time frames, especially right now looking at TRX. Or just, yeah, TRX. They have uh, some early uh, retracement you know visuals which in the case it can give us some of the good um, retracements and fills and you know even essentially good uh, good trades because if we go sorry back on a weekly because we haven't analyzed if we go back on a weekly you can see some of the main uh, areas that are tagged on these charts and you can see on the way down right if we analyze it a little bit back from the beginning right we had the multiple pumps right we had multiple pumps on trx right and you can see that each pump was a little bit less and, you know, ended up with coin going even further down, right? But there was one thing that all of these pumps had in common. And all of these pumps, as you can see, they all tested the main areas, right? They all tested the main areas. So now, thinking of this, right? So we are right now down stuck here and our main area is located at around 160, 150, 40 Satoshis. What do you think it could potentially happen, right? we could definitely now go and test the main area again. And since we are not currently at 93 Satoshis, we still have a pretty nice uh, position, or should I say, we still have a neat, pretty nice percentage on the way back to the main area, which around, it could be 45% all the way up to 74%. So you can see, you know, we still have opportunities for a good trade to be pulled on this one and essentially a pretty good profit take, right? So let's essentially go right now on a four hourly just to kind of see the local structure and to see where uh, our potential fill points could be happening on TRX. And right now I am seeing about two. So first of all, the, I'm going to anal analyze the first one. This is the one that we want to be seeing now. So this one right now, uh, it is not in the current stance of market smash. We do have to wait for this. So what I essentially want to see for this to happen is that we get a break. We recheck this level and then we get a fill on this one. That's what I essentially want to see. Now I'm going to still set up a profit take if that does indeed happen. And if we do right here with a stop loss underneath the low. And again, I would like to inform that this trade is not yet ready to take as it's this current stance. But when it, once it touches this line, it will be good to take on 95 Satoshis. And again, all of the prices can be seen on the right side of my screen. Now, if that trade does indeed, uh, if this does indeed happen, we get filled here. Our first profit take is not going to be the main area of the chart. We are essentially going to take a profit take here already. And there is a very good reasoning to it because we don't know if this local structure is going to be a part of the high time frame structure and if it's going to continue on its path, right? So we have to essentially take some early profits and it's not so early right here because right early we're seeing we're still getting about 3R or 18, almost 90%, right? Or 113 Satoshis. That would be our absolute first profit take. Uh, you know, that would be our absolute first profit take. And I mean, hopefully here we're going to snap it and continue towards our main goal right here on this chart. And then if we stretch it all the way to the main goal up there, you can see that we're getting still 47%, 7.5 R or 140 Satoshi. So you still see it's a very good profit take. And this is the position where I would probably take all of my trade out. I wouldn't probably, you know, continue with it anymore because if we do analyze history like we did on weekly, right? Every single pump was met with lower structure. So you can still see how this is still essentially very much possible area after pump this, right? We reject this and it's still possible to land down here, right? So 
due to that, right, I would mostly take most of my profits off tier or should I say probably close my trade and just wait if the coin does indeed happen to break something to the left side on this pump, like something like this or something like this, right, then I would be more willing to go in for a refill. But until then, right, I would just wait for another opportunity than just to leave money on the table for something that, ha that has happened so many times in the past right now that we can almost for sure guarantee it, right. Okay, that would be trade number one. Now I'm going to delete this off the chart and go into the trade number two. And the trade number two right now, because we haven't broken this level yet, is going to be located down here. This is this can still very much be retested. And it's going to be down here. And part of this is why this is such a good thing is because you essentially have a very, very defined uh, stop loss, right? You have a very defined stop loss on the chart. And as you can see, it's located right here. And it's a little bit smaller even than our first trade, right? This is very defined stop loss because you don't want to be going under this structure anymore, right? This is the structure that you potentially, you went up, you held this level, right? You went down, you held the preload and you broke it, right? This is definitely what you now want to do to continue. Now you either want to push all the way up here, you know, bounce off off and continue like we did on the first trade or you reject right here, you go up, you hold the lows again and then slowly continue over to the top right and reject and maybe do something like this so you can still see the secondary trade is still available even after the first one uh, is filled so what you could do again and i'm gonna say this right now with this profit take what we can do here is we can target we can target our first profit take here because this is the point then area that we, we will create if we go test underneath all of this we create this first profit take here, right? We take this profit take and you can see this profit take is again 3R, almost 90%, 94 Satoshis and it's still looking pretty good, right? So after this gets filled and let's just say this blows and rejects here, right? You can still do the secondary trade. So we even in the fact we probably want to have the first trade, the secondary trade here filled so we can do the secondary trade and first trade at the same time. So that secondary first trade can be used that we use uh, that we shown on the beginning of the video can be used as an add on trade to this already existing trade. So that would essentially end up with you having a lot bigger profit takes or profit targets uh, or should I say, sorry, profits uh, than to begin with, right? Than to have a reaction right now, right here right so yes the first profit take 19 percent 3r and 94 satoshi and then the secondary profit take again is going to be on 772 percent 140 satoshis and 12r and yes it does end up being very very amazing profit take especially if this is going to give us a chances to fill both of the trades in then you're definitely going to have a pretty amazing profits and again it is one of those trades that i will take everything off at this secondary profit take because if history has taught me something you test the main areas and then you usually follow even lower on this coin so yes then after this happens i would still be awaiting 30 to 40 satoshis area down there and if that area does indeed happen you know that would be kind of a heavy fill area for me because if you look at it again a weekly you can see this area is very beautiful and it's probably most likely going to give us another healthy 100% reaction plus as you can see right so yes uh, essentially you know this is the how you want to play uh, trx and it is you know so so far it is looking one of those uh, like one of those safe trades and with current bitcoin dominance levels still going right now i think it's like at 63 percent still going pretty good uh, definitely it could potentially turn out to be a really good trade. So yes, I mean, we will talk more about dominant, uh, dominance, Bit Bitcoin dominance levels tomorrow on a stream. So you're most welcome to join that one as well. And, you know, guys, do subscribe to our channel, like the video, share some thoughts on the comments below, right? We do read those. We do try to reply to every comment we do. And we also do the videos every day except on Sunday, right? So yes, please do, do, uh, do join us there. And also, you know, join us at free 4 c news channel where we... You know, basically post the links to videos. We post daily Bitcoin, uh, daily Bitcoin, uh, you know, announcements or should I say analysis and a tier analysis and stuff like that. Just really the things that help you guys the most during those trading times, right? So thank you for watching, guys, and we will be seeing each other in the next one.